Hi everybody. I hope you're keeping well and staying healthy and safe. Um, I thought I would take up the challenge to post a video to say hello to everybody and help keep us all in touch at the moment. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name's Katie and um, we go to church on a Sunday morning. I usually go along with my two kids, Charlotte and Zachary. Um, we also go to Messy Church on a Sunday afternoon, um, the first Sunday of each month, and I go along to Newland as well on the fourth Sunday of each month. And as well as that, I can also be found playing the organ and the piano sometimes on, on a Sunday morning. So I wasn't really sure what to talk about, um, so I thought I would maybe say a little bit about me and who I am and sort of what led us to come to High Street, and then um, a little bit about something that's been helping me over the last couple of weeks. Um, so I grew up going to church week in, week out with my family. We went to a United Reformed Church in Chesham and many of my childhood memories are linked to friends and activities connected to that church. Um, so weekends away with the URC Youth Organisation Fury, um, singing in the church choir, which was run by my mom, um, choir bonfire parties and barbecues, church outings, um, helping at the Holiday Kids Club in the town, um, going to youth days, um, church pretty much um, most Sundays. And going there now, which only happens very occasionally, feels like going back to somewhere that I really belong and that I will always belong as well. Um, so church was a huge part of my life when I was a kid growing up. But then I went off to uni and apart from going to church when I was back home, I didn't really go regularly for about 20 years because church didn't really fit in with what I was doing and um, my life. Um, however, five years ago, I was on maternity leave with Zachary and one of my neighbours invited me along to an alpha course run by her church. It was going to be held as part of her regular house group on a Thursday morning and they'd each, challenge each challenged each other to try and bring someone new along to the group and I was her someone. Um, it seemed to me like a good way to spend a Thursday morning with a small baby. Um, they'd even arranged for someone to come each week and look after all the babies and toddlers um, so that you could concentrate on what was going on. Um, and there was cake. Um, and so to be honest, um, I, I sort of went along initially for that. But I think deep down um, there was something else that I was probably looking for and probably wanting to find a way to get back into going to church but at the time I wasn't quite sure how to do that. Um, I did feel like something was probably missing from everything that was going on in my life, but I wasn't sure exactly what that was. Um, one of the sessions on the Alpha course raised the issue of sharing your faith and of worshipping with others. And although I'd never lost my faith and I still prayed, just not very regularly, um, and I'd still turn to the Bible for motivation and encouragement and inspiration, I had turned away from church as it didn't fit in with everything else that was going on um, at various points in my life. But this session um, made me realise that worshipping on your own isn't enough. We need to share our faith, we need to join together and to be a community um, and to help each other and support each other and encourage each other and spread the word. And it made me realise that what I wanted and, um, and what I also wanted for my kids was to be a part of that church community again, um, to have that feeling of being part of something that's bigger than me. Um, and not only that, but I needed it for my faith to grow and to develop. And so that's why we started coming to High Street um, on a Sunday morning. Um, so that's really how we kind of ended up where we are at the minute. Um, I also thought I'd share something that's been helping me out over the last couple of weeks. Um, while we've been in lockdown and it's um, something that I saw on my Facebook feed. Um, one of my friends posted um, on Facebook something that included two verses from Lamentations 3 um, and they are as follows. Because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. This really stood out for me for three reasons. Um, firstly, because I don't get too many Bible verses popping up in my Facebook feed, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, secondly, because the message seemed bang on for the times that we're currently living through. And thirdly, because in the last line, it references pretty much my favourite hymn. 
Um, and I've kept thinking about those verses since then and about the fact that God is with us um, as, as each day dawns, no matter what, as the long days of March turn into the long days of April and um, we're all still stuck at home and as spring blossoms around us and all the flowers and the trees are coming out um, and last weekend as we celebrated Easter and as time rolls on, God is there every morning um, and every new day that dawns will bring us new things to be thankful for even if sometimes at the moment we're not entirely sure what they are um, all the time. Every new day will bring us a day closer to the end of lockdown when we can all be out and about just as much as we want and be with our friends and families again. And every new day, God will give us strength for today, bright hope for tomorrow, blessings all mine with 10,000 beside. Thank you very much and um, I look forward to seeing everybody again soon in person. Take care. Bye.